we're back. As expected, we are seeing a Chiwu, but Extreme's gonna go with a Diana instead. So he's not committing to the full cleave, but he's still going with a pretty solid high damage lineup. And Rocky getting picked up last. Definitely a Chiwu ban here for Extreme and hoping that Hathor and Okinos miss. Let's see what's gonna happen. I'm not sure about the Diana though. I feel... I feel Helena's might be better, but hey! I know what I'm talking about because that Diana just got banned and Chiwu got banned for sure. And everything now lies on the hand of Hathor and Okeanos. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Tiana gonna lose turn one to Okeanos. Actually, it's pretty fast. Actually, look at the look at the attack buff, everybody. Not that slow. Missed the first reset. That is huge. Okay, that is huge because you have to waste a reset on that unit. What if he lose? What if that Belenus resists all the attack bar decrease? But now, what if? the Belenus cut in between and what if the Belenus violent proc just like how he destroyed that Artemia because that is looking like a Belenus turn for me right there so can he solo carry this entire game on his own Belenus going with the AoE landing one provoke only no violent proc so no killing just yet but now can Raki go for it Raki almost killed Vanessa and Hatha's gonna go for the sleep here but Gany will have to wake this Belenus up by force because of the provoke and oh actually missed the Belenus right there if you touch Belenus you get revenge and that's not funny oh wasted the sleep just to get the stun on Belenus that might be the key that might be very very important because you touch Belenus with defense break on yourself not funny at all so right now he's running out of juice but with Gany, juice gonna come back really really soon so i think even with a violent prop Benis is not gonna bring this back but vanessa finally go down and once again we get to witness the beautiful Gany hathor combo but this time it's still yon hong so can this sleep land it land on everybody beautiful but it's gonna take a while for this Gany hathor okinos to actually bring this back home Okay, Bennett's gonna go down to the Gany default attack. No, he's gonna go for the reset on Tiana, potentially stopping the cleanse on everybody. Oh, that thing didn't kill. And if that Bennett has stunned the Gany, that could have been big. That could have been really, really big. So, Gany's gonna get a chance to reset the Hathor right here, and Tiana doing some small damage, but not gonna matter too much. But the Gany Hatha combo control is gonna be full in full effect right now. And can Red Minion bring this back? Ooh, he's not touching that Tiana just yet. Going for the stun, waking up everybody. <laughs> and that's not good. That is not good. But hey, he still have the sleep ready, and the glancing debuff is not gonna stop her from sleeping everybody. But what if she missed on the Raki? That might be bad. Nope, not missing on anybody anything at all which mean red minions gonna be here for a little while longer so i think the big threat right now is still rocky but the easiest target to wake up is definitely bastet as long as you reset her the only thing she has is the default attack which doesn't do much to be honest so once again we see Kenny hathor slowly trying to mow down the enemy with very minimal damage and it's actually kind of stressful because if you miss sleep on the crucial unit then you might be in the bad spot but hey for now she's only missing the unit that she can afford to miss so if you can keep resetting this instead putting attack break and glancing on her she ain't gonna do anything at all and that raki maybe if it's on violent maybe if it can wake up and just say hello <laughs> then extreme will have a chance but i don't think she gonna get that chance to wake up and say hello so gany hathor not stopping anytime soon getting further 
supported with Okino stun. First game going to rent minion. The cleave didn't work because enemy is not trying to tank it. Enemy is trying to stop it. And that was better than tanking it for sure. All right, second game between extreme and red minion. Let's see what we extreme do differently this time. Because red minion is a chiwu and two single target strip, so he's ready for the enemy team. He's going with a Ciara, a much better option compared to Vanessa because Vanessa can take a turn and do nothing to the cleave, but Ciara can take a turn and just break the cleave. Oh, switching up, not Bastet anymore, but with a Triana to provide some immunity instead. But a Chiwu getting picked up together with a Gany, so it's going to be a Chiwu Force Ban. And the last pick can still be Okeano. So what can Extreme do to combat the Okeanos and Hathor first turn strip? Is it going to be a Josephine getting picked up? No, it's going to be a Jean and a Vert. Man is going really old school here with Jean and Vert. But he know the enemy might go for speed lead, so he's... Hoping for a quick resistance lead that can help him to deal with the turn one. The red minion have Okeanos at his disposal. We bring out the Okeanos. Or is he going to go for something else? But it's definitely going to be an Okeanos. Animator advantage. And there's just nothing wrong with going with an Okeanos right now. So if I'm red minion, I might just be banning either Tiana or Triana to not deal with the AoE immunity or cleanse. And Chiwu is a false ban, 100%. Or maybe not. With the Triple Revenge Vert, Chiwu might stay and Hathor might get banned. Let's see. And the ban will be on Vert and Okeanos. So, Extreme didn't match to read the mind of Red Minion too well. The Vert getting banned out, which means Chiwu is going to be in full effect here. Stripping and reducing enemy attack bar, and we have Gany Hathor combo with a Ciara to single out a unit, slowly kill them with bomb, and that is just too much. But w what if this Chiu will miss? We shall see. Chiu going turn one, and he get two out of four. That's not bad. And Hathor can potentially stun. I mean, sleep the Tiana here if she missed. That'd be bad though. If she missed, that might be bad though. She land that beautiful sleep, and that is pretty much the end. And that might just be the end, but no, not yet, because the Jean resisted the turn one strip, which means the Jean can potentially buy enough time for the Belenus to come back. Belenus almost died, and he's not going anywhere. He is not going anywhere, but he doesn't have the skill to come back from this. He needs he need John to buy him turns and that John is doing that so well but the Ciara is still free on the provoke which means she need to somehow get control either stun or sleep or provoke one of that to happen and the stun happened and look at the damage from the Belenus and the Jean is working overtime getting her cooldown back so that she can potentially just bring back the AoE provoke and the Hathor doesn't seem like the Hathor is going to get the turn because Tiana is going to cut in between and take out a Ciara beautifully and right now Ben is going to go miss the stun but get the violent proc potentially re provoke the Hathor he provoked the two unit and that is pretty much it for Hathor she can't take a turn what can she do about this but Gany do have his skill 3 but John is having the skill 3 once again and he she landed on the Gany and the Hathor the most important unit and providing a stun and a violent pro am I watching a guild battle right now because this looks very familiar to a guild battle and he just cleave his enemy into half with the Belenus beautiful skill 2 dude my man still find a way to cleave his enemy. I like that a lot. <laughs> man, man, man. The Jean Violent Proc. Am I watching a guild battle once again? Oh my god. Beautiful control cow from Jean. Most importantly, the turn one resistant though. That was crucial. That was crucial. So, Redmin is going to pick up a Sierra again. Extremes going with a Tiana once again. Both are not changing their strategy because both know it's working out well. So what is Red Minion going to do this time to combat this cleave? He know that it was bad RNG, which mean 
if you go again, he might have the good RNG this time. Because if she will land that strip, then that was pretty much over for Extreme. So what Extreme gonna do? Is he gonna? Oh, he take up the Ganny this time away from Red Minion, just to make sure there's less control. But nah, he's going back to the Triana and might pick up the Jean once again with the Vert. Okay, he pick up the Vert, knowing that Red Minion is gonna go with a Chiwu. So we might see the same draft, but we might see different RNG. So same draft, and the Jean might get picked up again because she just carried the match so well with the control, so that the Bellinus can get his skill back. Alright, what is going to happen here? Is it going to be a John or it might be a, a Josephine, for example? It's also not bad, but not in the theme. Oh, it's going to be a Raccoon picked up to deal with the control. So it might be a Sierra ban here because if you let the Raccoon through, then Genny Hatha might have a tough time trying to kill the enemy. So Sierra ban and Raccoon ban, which mean the Triple Revenge Bird might give Red Minion some PTSD for using a Chiwu because the biggest enemy to Chiwu is always a triple revenge bird or a ragdoll but still triple revenge bird so or maybe he might choose to just single target strip the Bellinus and just reset it <laughs> and screw the bird I'm not gonna touch you anytime anytime soon all right let's see what's gonna happen to this match turn one definitely belongs to Chiwu but is he gonna go for the AoE Oh, I'll, I'll just single target. Yes. <laughs> he went for the single target. And this is going to be a quick reset. We know Hathor's moving in front of Tiana anyway. So let's see what's going to happen here. Okay, going in with a quick reset on Tiana. So no cutting in between. And that's going to be night night. But you might want to go for a sleep strip on, her mo on Triana. And then Gany can take all the attack far away. Gonna go for the strip, land everything as he expected. So RNG is not with extreme in this match, even though it was with extreme in the previous match. So once again, we get to witness Gany Hathor, but this time no damage. So I think this match is gonna take a little while. So sit back, relax, and take out your pillow because we're sleeping for a while. <laughs> But hey, we got reset, so which mean that Trina's not gonna save nobody. And hopefully Chiwu and Okinos can provide us with some okay damage to potentially bring this match to a closure faster than we hope it would be. Because this is gonna take a while, guys. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. He needs to reset a Triana anytime soon. You don't want the violent Triana to destroy you. Maybe the vert is on Violent Revenge. That might be a chance for comeback. That might be a chance for comeback because no. Oh, Triana does have skill, which means if Triana somehow Violent Prop, it could be game. I mean, it could be comeback. Okay, another stun coming out from Okianos here. Hathor's waiting for her turn to get her sleep back. Okay, gonna reset. Come on, you gotta reset Triana right now. If you don't, you're gonna be in trouble. He's gonna reset Bellinus, who probably don't have a lot of skill, and the reset on Triana happened. So right now, nothing can be done unless the Verd Violent Prop, because all I can see is maybe a defense break from Tiana, Verd Violent Prop, and then somehow he can kill a Hathor quickly. Okay, the defense break happened. The Bellinus happened, the Verd didn't happen. Oh, I actually call that, but almost. <laughs> but Ben is not going to stay with us any longer. And Hathor actually got slapped. And there's no skill to control the Tiana and the Verd. For a quick moment right here, you may think that Extreme have a chance. But is he? Okay, Verd is going to get touched by the Chiwu. But that didn't do much. And right now, Verd did so much damage on the Hathor. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that didn't crit on the Gany. If it crit on Gany, we might see a comeback. But it didn't crit on Gany. So Gany Okeanos is almost as annoying as Gany Hathor. Which means I don't think Extreme is gonna see the live today anymore. That was a small window of opportunity. It opened and then it closed. So <laughs> the moment Verd go down, that's pretty much it. And I don't think Verd can stay in this match any longer. So that last turn shut down any chance for victory for Extreme. And the Cleaver have 